everyone, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com and today's topic is the Philippine government. Someone sent me the following question. It says, the Philippine government is keen on passing into law an anti-terrorism bill, which gives the government the power to warrantlessly arrest anyone it deems a terrorist. Recently, they have also shut down a major media network and are now trying to suppress another journalism outlet. They suddenly prioritize this while still in the middle of a pandemic. They're also like... You need to be safe from enemy rebels, which really sounds like a direct imitation from the U.S. The government has a track record of incompetence and apathy for the welfare of the population, so I highly doubt this next move is in our greatest good. What is the motive? China has also been rather aggressive with owning Philippine territory, one island at a time. By any chance, does this bill have anything to do with them? As for the upholding freedom of speech and the ideals of democracy, what is the path? that will best take us there. So really important question. And as I tune into this, I immediately get that the Philippine government's being bullied by the Chinese government to allow a slow takeover. China has some hold over the Philippines, either I couldn't determine if it was trade, if it was economy or what, what the full deal here was, but there is definitely some kind of power and influence that they have and they're using it against them. The Philippine government knows that in order to make a deal with China, the people will have to have their media outlets suppressed and provide lots of opportunity of fear to be spread. And then using channels just like the pandemic and also unlawful arrest to get people fearful to want to fall in line. Fear is the ultimate distraction and it's also an excuse to dismantle protests and keep people separate. They want to keep everybody divided because that's how people are their most weak. The motive is to strike a deal with China, and I get there are going to be some false promises being made, and the Philippines are falling prey to them. There's also an element of intimidation at play, and China is the master of this technique. To keep your strength as a country, the people, they have got to come together. You're strong together, and that is why it's being discouraged. Continue to voice concerns, talk, rally together. Many people feel the same way, but they feel overwhelmed to stand alone. So when you come together, you can provide support for one another as well. And that's really all I have on this reading. So please take a minute, send some positive energy to their direction. I really feel like they are in need of it right now. And that is all I have. Uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, all those things. It's wonderful. It helps me out so much. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.